sugar. There you are. I was waiting for you. Come here. Give me your hand. Hmm. Look at you. Just gorgeous, aren't you? A sight for sore eyes. It's a pleasure to meet you too, honey. I've been starving for a date with you since I saw your pretty face. <laughs> hmm? I look different from the pics I sent you. Well, that's because I'm not that pathetic piece of trash you thought you were talking to. I'm better. Lucky you, huh? Nah, honey, that's not a joke. I don't tell jokes. Believe me, I'm very serious right now. Oh, come on. You're leaving already, darling? We didn't even get to know more about each other. Oh, no, don't worry. I'm not gonna stop you. My man, on the other hand... Oh, that caught your attention, huh? Yeah, I said my men, as in my bodyguards, as in a bunch of brutes that will do whatever the hell I tell them, because I'm paying them. That's what I said. You're right. You're not seeing anyone in here besides us, but my men are spread around the park. Just waiting for my signal, just in case something goes wrong. I have at least two of them in all exits. So, do you still want to leave, sugar? Yeah, that's what I thought. Follow me. I'll take you to our table. I made sure everything's perfect for today. You're gonna love it. Flowers and candles everywhere. Good food and all that jazz. Oh, and here we are. Let me pull the chair for you. Nice clothes, by the way. You look so damn perfect in red, darling. Would look better without clothes on, though. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Oh, don't make that face, hmm? I'm really sorry. Not gonna do it again. Promise. All right, all right. Straight to business. That's how I like it. Here's your tip. I'm a pretty influential person in this city. I can do and give you things that you'd never get by yourself. It would be great for you to keep me on your good side. I have a lot of contacts. I deal with bad people. Police chief? <laughs> oh my god, Sugar, you're so funny. Whew. Now, I really want to keep you close to me. You're attractive, have a nice ass, and can tell jokes. The complete package. Yes, you got it wrong. I'm not a police chief. Quite the opposite. Yes, that means I get to keep you with me. <laughs> now, why don't you come here and sit on my lap? Let me tell you all about myself, since you care so much about that. <laughs> Look at you. All cute, even when saying no to me. But that wasn't a request. It was an order. Come sit on my lap. I advise you to not make me repeat myself. Good pet. Now, go on. Ask me anything. I know you're dying to know who I really am. I am... A mafia boss. The one that dominates the city, and the one that will keep doing it until my dying days. I am basically the owner of this place, so everything that's inside it, it's also mine. Ah, good question, sugar. How the hell did I end up interested in you? Well, me and my men were invading a bastard's house one day, cause he was from another gang and, for some reason, doing business in my area. We got him, tortured him, and got information out of him. Then we killed him. While I was investigating his phone, I came across your texts with him. I started to text you in his place to see if... You could have some kind of useful intel about him and his gang. I'm gonna be honest with you. In the beginning, I didn't really care about you at all. But then, you were so intelligent, charming, and cute that I fell in love. I knew I had to have you, sugar. I never felt this way before. I can't even believe I'm saying all this sappy shit to you right now. <laughs> anyway, after I checked your background and found out you weren't involved with any sort of crimes or with that gang, I decided to pursue you. That's when I asked you out on a date. Now, you're here. Now, you're mine. And that's all that matters. Yeah, I lied to you about who I was while texting. So what? That doesn't even come close to the worst thing I did in my life. Relax, love. This isn't that bad of a deal. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I basically saved your life. That asshole you were texting, he didn't want anything serious with you. He was part of a gang that kidnaps people and sells their organs... Now you know what your future would be like if it wasn't for me, and I think I deserve something nice as a reward. That's exactly as you heard. I know it's shocking for someone like you, but that's what happens in the shadows of this city. But don't worry, sugar. I'm here to keep everything under control, and my people are completely safe. So... Are you sure you don't want to be one of my people? No one would ever dare to mess with you again. 
Not if you're standing by my side. Oh, you poor thing. You seem scared. Look, why don't we go back to my house and I can help you calm down with some drinks and a nice massage. I'm good with my hands, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm not really giving you another option. You're right. Good to know you're aware that you belong to me now. Come on, stand up. We can have dinner later. I'm hungry for something else right now. Since you look so damn good and red, I plan to mark you in the same color all over this sexy body of yours. <laughs> Sorry, sugar. I said I wouldn't do it again, but I lied. Oh, well. You're gonna get used to that soon. With which one? The spanking or the lies? <laughs> Both. <laughs>